Hi, Lo. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Lo. This is Sandy, and I just finished this little very vintage, nostalgic sugar britches, four and a half by five and a half inch, and that's what I entitled it, nostalgic, like spelled like French, in French, or the French spelling. <laughs> I'll get it right. Anyway, these images are wonderful old images by Olda Sina. And, um, and then I have vintage photographs in here of uh, Love Junk Journals. Tracy has some wonderful, happy images of little people. Here's the front and a card from Ruby and Pearl I'm going to write on the back. And here's old umbrellas, old doilies I've cut apart, tissue paper, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed cheap tissue paper, anywhere I can find polka dots. I love that. Crinkle it up and on piano. And then I do have quotes. This one says, memories are timeless treasures of the heart. And she is just so happy and sweet and her hair's all messed up and I layered it with other papers and uh, muslin and tissue paper and buttons and lace. And this is more paper. Um, I think it was old Lucina's and some memories never fade. I left pages to put um, images or your own writing in, and uh, these are some French quotes that were with the images that, or with some images I had that I wanted to use. Old ballet slippers with lace, sorry silk buttons. Uh, this quote, I think, is particularly wonderful. A lifelong blessing for children is to fill them with memories of time together, happy treasures in the heart to pull out, to share for future generations. Just dawned on me, I had a lady tell me that uh, I needed more volume. I need to speak up, so I'm going to try to do that. So you noticed all of a sudden I remembered that. <laughs> so we'll see if this works better. Sometimes the uh, old vintage uh, images on, I think it's because I'm on this wooden table, it gives it more of a yellowish orange cast that it really isn't that um, rusty orange as much. Unforgettable memories are special moments that make up our story. Doesn't she look like she has a story? And I sort of think she may be the younger version of her. I don't know that, but as I was tearing them out and inking them, I thought, hmm, looks like that could be. And here's just a sheet of lace that you can write under. And here's a pocket of an old pink heels and ballet slippers. Here's a ballet slipper pocket. And I like taking my lace and I cut it in half and I use it in different ways so it looks like all kinds of different things. This says, memory is our diary that we all carry around with us. Now that is until we start losing our memory. <laughs> so anyway, that's the ideal. Then here's another uh, vintage image that I thought was just, it just went along with all the other ones. And this old pieces of uh, snippets of lace that I've picked up. This says our pictures are our footprints. It's the best way to tell future generations that we were here. I thought that was exceptionally special. And I think this means pretty Pretty images, pretty ladies. Anyway, and here's some 
different shoes. These have heels. These are more like a boot. And um, old violin, an old song with a thousand old memories. And more lace. And a cup with roses. And oh, I see I have my wood folder, or my, my um, bone folder in there to keep, keep the p glue from sticking. Piano, where every note is a hug for the soul. Vintage piano and roses. And here's a perfect little crocheted piece that I decided to put on there with the sheet music. Things are not always what they seem. And I'll just let you think about that with this old torn image and button and pretty pink laces, pretty red roses, pink roses. But the shoes are sort of worn, so who knows where they have been. Here's another image of a garment from that time period. These are wonderful too, and they're skates, so the shoes are all different. And an old umbrella that can be written on the back, and I've put a stamp, uniquely handmade, limited edition, which it is, they're all one of a kind. And um, there's the back with my hallmark and a couple smaller images. So I have uh, cheesecloth underneath the lace on the front you can see and wrapped it around over my signature and stitches so the spine has lace on it too and um, I like the way that this is on top of this piece of paper but the way it's torn and inked and then um, I need to glue those this it makes it look three-dimensional, which I really try to do. I think I get carried away and move it right out of the frame. I hope not. I'll check this before I put it on. But um, there she is, and she's, like I said, four and a half by five and a half, which is what I normally do. And just beautiful from all angles. And she is 95. I ship in the United States and send it priority, which is another um, 10 for this size. So if you're interested, that's the information on her. And the title is Nostalgique. And I'm spelling it, the French spelling, like I said. So, there you go. I got another idea that I'm working on, but this is the current finish, so I'm going to have it up by tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for following me. And um, I'll just talk to you later. Bye.